morning to all today we are going to discuss two concepts one is testing for specialized environments architectures and applications second one patterns for software testing so first we are going to discuss the first concept is testing for specialized environments architectures and applications in this concept we have four points first one testing guis second one testing of client server architectures third one testing documentation and help facilities and fourth one testing for real time systems so these are the four points in first concept so now come to the concept so testing for specialized environments means testing some specialized environments and some special architectures and some special applications so those special type of applications how we need to test so those things we are going to discuss in this concept so now come to the first point in this concept the first point is testing gis so we know what is mean by gi gi means nothing but graphical user interfaces so graphical user interfaces means so always interfaces are two types one is cur character user interface second one graphical user interface in character user interface cui cui character user interface everything we want to type we want to give in the form of commands just like your das is also is is also a character user interface then if you come to windows sorry uh, microsoft word excel like these types of environments are all graphical user interfaces so drag and drop options everything is look like in graphical manner <coughs> icons buttons radio buttons images such type of format are available in this interface such type of interface are called as graphical user interface and everything will be typed command based concepts like dos it's called as cui graphic uh, character user interface so now our concept is how we are testing gui so graphical user interface so graphical user interface will present you with interesting testing challenges so to test graphical inter user interface so there is a, some interesting challenges are there why because means it is not such an easy to test the graphical user interface because uh -huh. number of uh, options facilities are provided in the graphical user interface but at the same time there is complexity of graphical user interface is also grown leading to more difficulties in the design and execution of test cases that means so already we said a graphical user interface is more critical one so complexity one such a complex graphical user interfaces if you want to test it is more difficult while designing and executing the test cases so to overcome such a difficulties in the test case executions so we used a concept called graphical user interface testing should approach to using automated tools so here while testing we have most important things is two concepts manual testing and automated testing so manual testing means to test the software everything the programmer wants to write the code so he want to test manually but such an approach is not suitable for gui testing so we want to approach the second concept called automated testing for testing gui interfaces so this is the concept of the point testing gui interface so gui means graphical user interface it is a more complex concept to test so that's why to test the graphical user interface we are using automated tools then the second concept is testing of client server architectures so we know very well about client server architecture in client server architecture 
client and server two people is there or two concepts are there client requesting the server server responding for the client request so this is the concept existing between client server architecture how we are testing such type of architecture means for testing of client server architecture we have three different levels so in that first level is individual client applications are tested in a disconnected mode the operations of the server and the underlying networks are not considered that means in the first level we are test only the client applications only the client applications for example client means so in our day to day life everyone know about google or gmail gmail accounts so in from your laptops or your desktops you are accessing gmail so your laptops or your desktop act as a client and from some far away places this gmail server is running it responding for your request so your systems are act as a client and the far away systems are act as servers so in this client server architecture first we are testing the client applications they the other server operations or any network operations are not considered only client applications are tested individually that is the first level then in the second level the client software and associated server applications are tested but network operations are not explicitly exercised that means in the first level only client operations client applications are tested then if you come to the second level the client softwares and associated server applications are are tested here network operations are not considered in the second level only client and server applications are tested then if you come to the third level the complete client server architecture including network operations and performance is tested in the third level complete client applications and server applications and including the network operations are also tested so in these three levels we are testing client server architectures and including to this testing of this architecture client server applications testing we have some approach that's nothing but testing approaches for client server applications so we have five different approaches are there for testing client server applications in that first one is application function test second one server test third one database test fourth one transaction test and last one network communication test these are the five different testing approaches for client server applications so in that first one is application function test so application function test means functionalities of client application is tested in stand alone fashion in an attempt to uncover errors in its operations that means what are the uh, client application functionalities are there those functionalities are all tested to find out is there any errors or not so this is nothing but application function test only testing the client application functionalities then second one is server test server test means the coordination and data management functions of the server are tested and server performance is also considered so testing the server side so how the server is coordinating with client and how the server is maintaining the data all these concepts are tested about the server and server performance is also tested so all these types of server testing will comes under server test then third one is database test so database test means the accuracy and integrity of data stored by the server is there in is tested that means how the server is storing the data how accurately it storing how it integrating the data all these testing will comes under database test storing of data testing in the server it comes under database test then fourth concept is transaction test so transaction test means a series of tests are created to ensure that each class of transaction is processed according to requirements that means based on our requirement in the program how the transactions are 
going on, whether they are transacting in a right manner or not, to test that one. It's nothing but transaction testing. So transaction means we already know if any event is happened. So a data is moved from one state to another state. It's nothing but a transaction or an event is conducted to get an input and provide the output. It's a transaction. So such a transactions are transacted in a right manner or not. Test that one. We are using transaction test. Then what is it? then the last approach for client server application is network communication test. So in this test, the test verify the com that communication among nodes of the network occurs correctly or not. That means we know network. Network means nothing but connecting different nodes in the network. So such a node are connected in a right manner or not to verifying that one. It's nothing but network communication test. So these are the five different types of testing approaches for client server applications. Then the third point is testing documentation and help facilities. So this concept is nothing but for developing any software we have documentation also and we are provided help facilities also in that software. So to testing that documentation whether the document is developed in a right manner or not and what are the help facilities we are provided in that software whether we are provided in a right manner or not to testing that one it's nothing but testing documentation and help facilities so finding errors in the documentation and in help facilities of software it's nothing but testing documentation and help facilities such a documentation testing are having two phases of approaches so documentation testing can be approached in two phases so phase one how we can test the documentation means by technical review so technical review is one of the point to check anything so we can use such a technical review for testing documentation it is in first phase and second point in the first phase is examining the document for editorial clarity so we are cross-examining the document also in the editorial clarity so getting some clarity whether they are having any errors or not to find out those errors we can cross-examine the documentation so these technical review and editorial clarity examination comes under first phase then in the second phase we can test the documentation by using live test is the first one and second one use the documentation in conjunction with the actual program so if any critical situations are they uh, happen in the actual program we can use this documentation to solve that problem if that documentation may help you to solve the problem then it comes under not containing any errors so these are the two phases in testing the documentation so so this is the concept of testing documentation and help facilities and the last point in uh, testing concept is testing for real time systems so testing for real time systems so real time systems means so at the real time whenever if you want to do anything we can do it that nothing but real time systems for example so zoom meetings it's a real time system at that time a meeting is going on we are involving in that and we are discussing then skype is a real time systems so such type of systems how we are testing so to test the real time systems we have some following concepts so those are nothing but the first one is task testing so task testing means testing each task independently so in real time systems the works are divided into task each task if you tested independently then that one comes under task testing then second one behavioral testing so in real time system how the system is behaving whether it is behaving in a right manner or not for example if you take zoom zoom is used for meeting purpose it is the behavior of the zoom software if it is help for meeting if it behave in a right manner to conduct a meeting it's working properly otherwise it containing some errors so testing the behavior of the 
real time systems is nothing but behavioral testing the third one is inter task testing that means testing the inter task synchronization errors that means we already discussed here real time systems can contain a number of tasks so from one task to the data may be transferred from another task so two or more tasks wants to interact with them so if in such a manner they are interacting the inter tasks also want to test they are interacting in a right manner or not if there is any synchronization errors or not to find out that one we want to test inter task testing then the last one is system testing that means testing the full range of system for errors overall total system is tested for errors then that type of testing comes under system testing so this is the concept of specialized environment and architecture and application testing then the second concept is patterns for software testing so we know already what is mean by patterns patterns means we are using uh, 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 an example concept to find out the solution for our problems so such type of patterns how we are using in software testing also so comes to the point the use of patterns as a mechanism for describing solutions to specific design problems for any problems we are using patterns as a mechanism to describe solution so this is the concept of patterns but those patterns can also be used to, to propose solutions to other software engineering situations of software testing also so such type of patterns we can use in software engineering also for software testing purpose also so that is nothing but patterns for software testing so testing patterns describe common testing problems and solutions that can assist you in dealing with them that means when you are uh, dealing the software testing to test any software this testing patterns can guide you or describing common testing problems and solutions to deal with such problems in some other software testing sir so this is the concept of patterns for software testing so today we discuss the two concepts nothing but testing specialized environments architecture and applications and patterns for software testing based on these two concepts we given some assignment questions so these are those five assignment questions